All right, today we're gonna to show you how to wrap a open top scupper. And you're gonna start with just a measurement of your nine inch before we get it primed. You wanna be three inches over on each side. Um, and we'll go through this. The reason we're three inches, because you have a five inch coverage and you get covered by two inches then. Next step we're gonna do, we're gonna go ahead and prime it up. It's already been cleaned. We washed it with some uh, all-weather membrane cleaner. We want to make sure that it's clean. So we're going to start by priming this. We're going to prime into the metal roughly two inches. That's where you want to be. That's our that's our number of coverage that we want inside of the stuffer. You want to be sure to get your 90 really good with your primer so your corner doesn't pop. That's a critical area. That's where they'll open up. All right, once it's all primed, we let it flash off. All right, now that we've given it time to flash off after priming it, um, one thing that you want to remember to do on your nine inch, that's your first pass on your stupper, make sure you round the corners. On all your patches, you want to round the corners on them. Um, that way the corners aren't as apt to lift up. If people walk on it, they don't catch the corner and peel it up. All right, so now what you want to do with your nine inch piece, you're gonna about, you're gonna center it in the stupper. So you're equal on each side. All right, now you're gonna peel the paper. Simple as that. You don't wanna finger up the, your nine inch form flashing. You wanna keep it very minimal when you're touching it. So you're gonna fold this about in half. You're gonna get about, you're gonna get midway of your scupper. You want it to be nice and straight. Lay it out from corner to corner. Want to make sure to get into the 90 really good. All right. Then you're going to just form it right around that corner. Set this in. And you're going to just stretch that right over like that. You have to be careful not to overstretch it. These diamonds that are in the flash, and if you start pulling the diamonds where they're, they're odd shaped or oblong shaped, you're overstretching it. You don't want to do that because it ruins the integrity of the patch. This stuff stretches pretty easy. You don't have to use much force when you do it. It'll form right into place. As you can see, I'm not applying a lot of pressure on that. All right, that step is done now for the time being. Now I'm going to take and prime these sides because we're going to flash this down with five inch on each side of that. So we're going to go ahead and prime that. All right, now that this prime is ready to go, the primer it is flashed off. So now we're going to go ahead and we're going to put our side pieces on, which is a five inch um, form flash. So you want to start it right down here. You want to keep that pretty symmetrical off that other patch so it's a nice looking detail when you're all done. You bring it right up the side, fold it over a half inch on the top. Same way on the other side. You're going to start it again right at the edge of your nine inch at the bottom. You want about a two inch, or you want a two inch coverage over this nine inch that is down here. That's the reason we keep it in. We only go over about three inches with our nine inch form flash. That way you got your two inch coverage on your five inch. All right, now you can take your roller. You're going to roll this whole patch. This is really critical right here. And as you see, you want to use the square 
outside edge of your roller. You want to make sure your roller is nice and square there too. You don't want one rounded. If the roller is rounded, it's wore out. It's time to get a new one. And as you see, when you use it, it gets into that corner pretty well. And that's what you're looking for. You want that 90 to be rolled in there tight. So then you can go ahead and just roll your whole patch out or your form flashing out. Now, if you ever have air that gets encapsulated or trapped in there, don't ever pop that. Don't ever pop it. Um, you see, as you can see, we got a little one there. It really doesn't do anything to the patch at all. Just don't pop it. If you pop it, now you've created a hole. You want to make sure you get really good pass in here. When the inspectors will come out and look at it, they, they look for that. That's what they look for. They want to make sure that that's rolled in nice. All right, now that we've gotten that all done, we'll just go ahead and you have to caulk the whole perimeter of this.